And with the fans in the yellow wall bouncing up and down, we are ready for Borussia Dortmund against Real Madrid in the UEFA Champions League knockout stages. I'm Derek Ray, joined by Lee Dixon. Lee, Dortmund fans have great memories of facing Real Madrid back in 2013 in the semi-final. That's right, Lewandowski scoring four goals in that game and certainly in the dressing room before the game, you'll be looking around to see who your match winner is going to be. You need your big players to have big games when you're playing Real Madrid. And Dortmund fans always believe they have a 12th man in home games. I'm talking, of course, about that yellow wall, the famous Zud Tribune. the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Roman Burki begins in goal. Nico Schulz plays with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Emre Can plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Toni Kroos plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Real Madrid have given it away. Oh, a nice looking pass. And now can they keep calm? And a goal! The opener in the semi-final! First goal of the contest! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish too. And the goal again, albeit from a different angle. the delivery and a goal they've had it to the lead what's needed security well here it is again ball into the box in the corner and what a great finish as well good connection with the ball leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance fantastic goal It's a good looking ball in behind. Chance to finish. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. And so the contest is over, the first leg anyway, and so far a story of Borussia Dortmund with the advantage going into the decisive match. Wow, Derek, well it's not quite done and dusted. You just have to imagine what those players are going through now with this league going into the second leg, the final just around the corner. Can the coach keep the players' feet on the ground? We'll find out very soon. It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. 
I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon and Real Madrid have work to do in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Real Madrid against Borussia Dortmund. Thank you, Derek. Well, Real Madrid have it all to do after the first leg. You just wonder how they're going to respond. They lost by a big margin, not good enough in all departments. Need to apply pressure, need an early goal. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Toni Kroos plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Roman Burki begins in goal. Nico Schulz plays with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. Torgan Azar plays with Emre Can in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Emre Can. And he's broken free. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. Does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. A chance to revisit the goal. an interesting pass and he's got to clear his lines an incisive pass oh yes a goal exactly what they were looking for and he's come up with it well here we see it again Derek he's just unaware there's people around him and he loses it too easily then he's catch up and they can't recover. Terrible goal to concede. This is Kroos. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Only five minutes left for play. And tension galop. And he's through here. Will he finish? And in! Oh yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generating a lot of power, and the keeper just can't react in time, look. Let's have another view of that goal. And now, the whistle the Dortmund fans wanted to hear. It is official. Borussia Dortmund are through to the Champions League final. Well, all too easy in the end, Derek, but they won't mind that. Tougher tasks maybe lie ahead in the final, but that's for another day. Celebrate and enjoy this victory. I'm sure they will. Well, I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.